Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video, and as you can see, it is 7.04, the update has dropped, and Clayman is in the game, finally, for the first time as a playable unit, and uh, he comes during a very gimmicky meta, right? You know, I thought that Space 2.0 is pretty gimmicky, but when you combine everything together, it, it does work fairly well. Uh, this meta, though, counterattacks, stat swapping, poisoning, it's like everything that they ever have never ever used in a meta. They just were like, you know what, here, have fun. We're going to smash it all into one, and you're going to either love it or hate it. And so far, I think most people have disliked it. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, so it's unfortunate that Clayman's coming during a very, very gimmicky meta. So we know what his first skill does based on the Twitter post this morning. So he is our very first taunt unit, so directs all attacks to him, which, you know, is interesting. So let's just check out what he does. So first off, very low attack, very decently high defense, you know, to go along with everything else. Um, HP is pretty good. So his skills, single target, 470%, okay. He's got the, uh, the additional added on. And then he also lowers a target's defense by 10% for two turns, which if you combine with counter attack and counter power and counter resistance down and all that other jazz that we're doing here, uh, you know, it, it, it can be beneficial to you if you happen to get his attack off. His first skill is the taunt, so it'll cost 15 points to taunt for two turns, and this goes from 80 to 100%, so you're guaranteed to taunt enemies. Now, it doesn't really matter if they're AoEing, because it's going to hit everybody regardless, but if they're doing single attacks, then they will go to Clayman. And then he also increases his own counter-attack power by 35%. Uh, with Benimaru giving you guaranteed counters, it can be good, and you have, you know, a decently high attack stat, but, you know, this is, this is maxed out, right? This is maxed out. You're... Level 80 is not going to start with that. They're going to have, you know, decent defense, but if you're going to try and, you know, take Clayman into EX Millum, you know, taunt up, and she's going to send four pierce attacks at you, you're still probably going to die. You'll do some damage back to her, you know, for funsies. You'll do some, you'll do four, three, well, three counter attacks, and then the fourth will kill you. Um, so you're going to need some extra defensive stats, some pierce lowering, pierce resistance, something to make sure that he doesn't die, and then some, you know, some good healing. Uh, his second skill, something we did not know, so this is new. Uh, okay, it's 15 points as well. Decreases all targets crit damage by 30%. This will go up. How high will this go, though? It could be 50, it could be 40. It, they could really make it useless and do 35%. But this will go up. So this will help in Tempered Edge, for sure. Because, you know, Leon is alting and critting left and right, so doing this will definitely, you know, cut back the damage that you take, especially since EX3 also dropped with this update. Uh, and then he also stacks poison damage, so just like Adelman, he will have an unlimited stack of poison damage, so technically if you have both of them, you can apply poison and then 60% extra on that turn, and that will carry on forever. And then you, you know, reset skill cost, do it again, and that's 120% extra poison damage uh, so that will build up to be pretty significant if you have Adelman and if you have this Clayman uh, his trait when your troop contains three or more battle characters increases your protection gauge by four every three turns of course of course of course of course they give him protection so we are not doing the two turns like um, Shuna does, and we're not doing for the first three turns, kind of like what Valentine does. We're doing it every three turns, kind of like how um, Space Rimuru, Wind Millum, and uh, Hero kind of do. Every three turns you get protection gauges, and you can kind of plan on that. And it goes up to six. And then his EX trait is self-buffing, and he gives himself extra counterattack power when you have Millum in a battle slot, so I guess they're banking that you're using Earth Millum up front, which she does have a defense skill, which will then help you not, you know, dying when you're taunting and doing counterattacks. So I guess that can work, but I, this Earth team is kind of 
stacked, right? You've got Mirren, Aaron, uh, Adelman, and uh, Clayman. So your fifth slot is going to be Earthmillum. I think I'd rather have another healer or someone else as a support. I don't know, but okay. Uh, do I recommend you summon for Clayman? No. No, we're literally, literally two hours. Or no, not two hours, two weeks. We are 13 days and 23 hours and 50 minutes away from the anniversary. This is not worth it. This is not worth it. Poison damage? Taunting? When is this ever going to be helpful ever again, huh? Mm, probably never. Probably never. This is not a hero, you know, unit. This is not Light Shion. This isn't even, like, Velzard, right? Okay? This is not where you want to spend your crystals this close to the anniversary. You want to save and save and save for what I will probably assume is going to be our second triple banner. Uh, just like they had during the sixth month anniversary, they had a banner with three new units on it, being uh, Veldora, Millum, and Hero. And then they had another banner with just Carrion. And then they had some dark stuff going on, but we don't talk about that. But there's three, I would assume there's going to be three units on this first banner for the anniversary, which, you know, raises its value immensely. You want to summon for anniversary units that are busted on a higher, higher value banner, or you want to summon for bitch ass Clayman? Taunt your way to victory on the one-year anniversary, right? No. Don't do that. Please don't do that. You know what? I'll help you out. I will make terrible choices for you. So you don't have to. Because I may have spent a little bit of money. Uh, so I bought two of the packs. So five tickets apiece. So we have one ticket multi for Clayman. I don't think he's going to bring anything else as far as social media campaigns. So... Let's try our luck. We are still, what, six days away from getting Adaman, so at least we will have him. You know, six more days, six more tickets to 200 pity. So I can have the poison, and I can have the extra stacker. Now, let's see if I can pull claim in relatively quickly. And since we're not streaming on YouTube, uh, which shafted Adelman, but gave me good luck for uh, Benny Maru, hopefully I can repeat that. Like, double claim in first multi, right? That's what we're going for. That is what we're going for. It's not going to happen. Let's just kill my hopes and dreams. But this is a lesson for you. To not do this. Because you're going to get the same luck that I will, probably. Okay, okay, good. I was I was really worried it was going to be a Millum animation. Uh, okay. Daylight. No red screen. No purple aura. We're just going to call that right now. No purple. It wouldn't even go gold if, unless it was a guaranteed 5 star. See, look at that. Look at that. Alright. Ryota. Cool. Regard. Anniversary character right there. For sure. The Chad Gale Gibson. I used him today, actually. I used him in a battle. Not that he did anything, but he was on the team. Psychic Elf. Kurobe. Ryota again. Alright. Kurobe again. Who else? Harna. I don't think I've ever used her in a fight, ever. Kenya. Alright. All the kids. And then our four star is Kaijin. Yes. Perfect. That is exactly how your multi will go if you summon on this banner. Don't summon on this banner. Clayman, ultimately, not worth it. Not this close. And his ult really actually doesn't really look that good, in my opinion. So, yeah. I don't, I don't really know how I feel about that. But just in case you needed reinforcement, we're going to do it again. Because I'm dumb. Don't question me. I know what I'm spending. And I know that I'm already going to buy crystals anyways for the anniversary, so. 
Okay, we got a dusk. Oh. Hmm. It's gonna be like Windmillum. It's gonna be one of the trifecta, probably. Now that I put that out into the universe. Uh, okay, Wind Shion. I don't even know what his quote is, because no one's here to tell me what his quote is. Uh, Ryota. Alice. Yep, there, there you go. Yep, see? That's what happens. That's what happens. No! No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! God damn it. God. God damn it. Don't. 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 Don't summon on this banner. Don't. Please, for the love of God. I am begging you to be much smarter than me. And don't try this shit. Alright? I do it because I have problems. You don't have problems. This will cause you problems. Because this isn't going to work like this. Alright? Okay? Don't do it. It's not worth it. Two weeks. You must wait two weeks. I can't do that. You can. I believe in you. You're much stronger than I am. I'll have a showcase for him in a day or so. Bye.